Hello, 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 everyone. Good evening. Hi, I'm here. My name is Stanislava Pavlova. And today we're going to start with our first interview in Coaching Creo International in this beautiful internet um, place, <laughs> internet position, internet platform, uh, Facebook, YouTube channel, and Instagram. Very welcome to everyone who wants to join tonight with us. I will be really, um, first of all, thankful to say you're here. And um, the second, um, I'm sure you will enjoy with us tonight. Um, make sure you can uh, follow us in um, everyone's social media. Make sure you click uh, the link and follow in Facebook and Instagram and YouTube channel of Coaching Creo International. Um, beautiful so Here is the space for your spirituality. I'm sure. Uh, this place of coaching Creo International, you can find a really interesting specialist and expert for your growth in your self development. Tonight, we have a special guest. She is from uh, Bulgaria. She is my colleague. Um, I know her very well. Um, make sure you will follow us and you will be with us um, to the end of our interview because we have. Uh, um, surprise for everyone. Uh, her name is um, Gergana Arabovic. She is holistic health trainer and coach. And also she is um, a sleep expert, um, which is really interesting. I'm sure that will be a really uh, like, um, first of all, um, strange and maybe funny, but make that play to you to know to understand what doesn't mean to be sleep expert um, also she's eft emotional um, freedom specialist which is really interesting too but um i can speak like 20 minutes more for her um i want to say and introduce myself i'm the founder and host of coaching Creo international my name is Stanislava pavova and i'm originally from bulgaria so um let me say welcome to my special guest gary and let's start with our questions hi gary welcome Hi everyone. Hi Stasi. Thank you for having me tonight. I'm really excited to be here and to be your first guest. I'm really excited yes. for what what's coming next. We will smash <laughs> Absolutely, all the we world. <laughs> um, so guys, uh, we celebrate in Bulgaria in March, um, <laughs> Baba Marta, but we don't know how we can dress tonight. <laughs> So that is a little bit funny moment. Um, let's say, Gary, mm, how I say in the beginning, you're sleep expert, um, you're EFT trainer, and also um, you're holistic and health coach. Uh, can you explain me a little bit and uh, give, tell us more information about the sleep expertise? Well, I'll start from a little bit further than my current <laughs> speciality because uh, I became a sleep expert and EFT trainer after I had probably 15 years in aviation. I was an aviation instructor teaching pilots how to cope with stress, how to uh, have better sleep, how to do what they do really better and i was a human factor human factors human factor specialist actually or um an expert in sleep and coping with stress teamwork etc so uh this this has been my profession for 15 years but i got tired of aviation and i quit more or less 
and um, it became clear to me that sleep is a very, I love to learn more about sleep and even better, I love teaching people how to manage their sleep, sleep better. And the more I learn, the more excited I'm about, about sleep. So how I became a sleep, a sleep expert, I had several trainings several years of training, of training actually, and I educated myself, I followed different courses, and I worked with, and still work with clients who would love to have a better sleep or to uh, fight insomnia. So after several years, <laughs> I'm moving forward with what I love to do now talk about mm -hmm. sleep and help people get better and improve their health. Um, yeah, so the sleeping moment is um, really important in our daily moment. <laughs> Eight hours is absolutely uh, normal to sleep or you can sleep a little bit short. What do well, you think? Many people think that eight hours is the norm. But actually, it's not exactly that. We are different. And uh, as ind individuals, we need different. I mean, we, we have different, uh, different sleep needs. Mm -hmm. And for some people, or well, many of us need eight hours. I'm talking about adults here, not about kids or teens or babies. But uh, more, m many people need eight hours, but there are people who need more, nine hours, or people who need less, between six or seven hours. And of course, there are people who need only a few hours, but they are a minority. But let me tell you, most of the people nowadays, active, busy working, goal-driven people sleep far less that they, than they actually need. So it's it's a problem. Yeah. Um, the another topic of uh, <laughs> your uh, back is sit up. Sit up uh, for me in the beginning sounds like um, something really interesting and funny. And at the same time, I'm one of these people who training every day sit up, and I can say for uh, the last two, three weeks, I really find my body in the different uh, way, how I feel, what I'm doing. And I just say in the beginning, before we start with the interview to Gary, please, can you send me tomorrow um, different training? <laughs> because it's not hard <laughs> for me. Um, can you say a little bit more and introduce to our audience um, this method, how we can activate the, the muscles uh, is really important. Thank you, Gary, for that. Okay, so TITAP is an American method for, of, um, it's a whole system, actually, and it helps the, the whole body at the same time. It is, mm -hmm. it's working from the inside out and it helps to tone, tighten, strengthen, and feel better. TITAP, uh, TITAP's founder is Teresa, late Teresa Tapp, unfortunately, and she's, crea she's created this method who works really well for uh, everyone, women, men, kids, but we women uh, have, well, I would not say greater uh, benefits, but I would say we should need, we should do it <laughs> more than men, because TITAP is such a powerful method that it helps with hormonal balance, it helps with bone strength, it helps with tighten, toning and tightening of the whole body, as I said, and it just um, helps us feel better, live longer, and enjoy life. And TITAP really helps with sleep. So I should say everybody needs to know about TITAP and mm. everybody needs to do it. Absolutely. I am in and 100%. <laughs> I know so you like it. It's great. Yeah. 
Uh, don't forget tomorrow just drop me the 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 next training <laughs> absolutely i will um okay what was your wake up call well my wake up call fortunately was not something that came out of the nowhere and was not something really drastic but it happened probably around 10 11 years ago when i had everything that i kind of wanted dream had dreamt about in life but i didn't feel happy i had probably the most visible condition was my um appearance outlook because i had terrible acne and i was around 30 at that time and it was not the time for mm. that acne so i really looked terrible and i um i didn't feel happy about how i looked and i felt sluggish i didn't have energy i just felt bad and on top of that i felt guilty because i had everything that i kind of wanted but mm. i couldn't feel happy about that so i started actually my wake up call came in the form of a picture from my birthday it, it's really a funny story because at that time probably it was my 30th birthday 30th 30th one something like this and um i wanted so much to go to ho a horseback riding so my friends gift me gifted me um some lessons Mm -hmm. and imagine i went there i was so happy really happy and i got up on the horse somehow <laughs> and my boyfriend then now husband took several pictures of me <laughs> and when i came home i it was pre-smartphone era actually we took the pictures with the old way on the with the old way with camera so mm -hmm. when we went home i looked at the pictures and felt absolutely terrified absolutely terrified because of the way i looked and it terrified me it scared me to death <laughs> i was like i'm 30 oh years God. old and i feel like <laughs> I'm 70 at least, and I don't don't like how I look look like. So this was my first up, uh, wake up call, and I started researching uh, internet for some physical activity that I can can do at home, and I found Tita. At that time, all I could find about Tita was positive. I mean, there were people, women mostly who sang, had sang graces about it up, how good this was, how powerful it was, etc., etc. I was like, really? There is such a thing? <laughs> so I started, there was a book, Teresa, uh, Teresa Tapp's book. And I bought the book. I started doing the exercises by the book and I lost a couple of inches or centimeters and I was hooked absolutely 100% sure that this is it so I started exercising more reg more regularly and mm -hmm. I found a trainer American one and a, well maybe a year or two later I started the um, process of certifying as a trainer because I knew this is my thing and if I'm going to be active, which I was not prior to that, I need to become a trainer to keep myself in check. And more, this was more or less 10 years ago and I became a trainer. Mm -hmm. I became a master trainer really fast after that because this was my thing. There was nothing that could stop me get the <laughs> master you trainer. You have motivation. You have this motivation. This is motivation. Yes, and it turned out that this was the well one of the best 
most powerful decisions in my life. And I, well, I, I, I was to say I struggled with that. I, I didn't struggle, but as we talked with you before, when you are on your path, things start to happen, start happening. So I was on my path on becoming a trainer, on becoming a health coach, on becoming really knowledgeable about health, physical exercise, emotional balance later, but at that moment I didn't know that. So things started to happen. And I was really, really excited that in 2013 I became a trainer and then next year I became a master trainer and I did all the qualifications and uh, certifications that I needed to in the next couple of years. And now I am one of probably, I don't know, 30, 50 people in the world who can call themselves themselves GitHub trainers. Perfect. I'm really lucky to, to have you here. And uh, we just joined from the Bulgarian ones and we just start with you in the English platform, which is really great. And um, get it, the next question. You are holistic health coach. How that um, gives you something in your life? What was the different, how you feel when you start to be a um, holistic health coach? Well, it's not a thing that happened overnight because holistic, well, health doesn't happen overnight. It can be ruined overnight though, but we need to be active, proactive every single day, even hour of our life to really be healthy and keep that health. So, um, I started from really unique situation because my first degree, I'm not sure that you know that probably you do, but I'm not sure. Uh, my first degree is in aerospace engineering. I have a master degree in aerospace engineering and that's how I entered into aviation. And that's how I became an aviation instructor. And uh, my path started from the position of the, um, how to speak from the um, um, knowledge, from the position of knowledge or learning. So I was very, I'm still very analytical. And at the beginning, I was trying to absorb all, absorb all this information and teach people on conscious level, how do, how they need to react to eat to exercise to do whatever they need to do but soon after that i understood that you can teach people only so much mm. you i've given i don't know thousands of lectures i had 15 years in formal training doing that mm. and i've taught thousands of course probably i don't know maybe more really <laughs> a lot of courses and um, I know that I can teach them certain times but their motivation is going to last only until the end of the course and if they're really interested by the end of the next few days and then I understood I knew deep down inside me I knew that something was lacking and I missed something so I became a TTAP trainer. I had no idea how I could well, be a, a aviation instructor and a physical trainer, personal trainer, mm. because that's what I was. So I was teaching classes during the day and then yeah. I was giving exercises. I mean, teaching exercises several days, uh, several evenings in the week. and. I really felt myself between the two <laughs> banks of the river and <laughs> I knew something was missing. So I continued educating myself and God, universe, 
somebody kept drawing me things I needed to know, things I needed to find out about and develop further. So that's how I that's how I met with EFT or emotional freedom techniques. This was something that was given to me mm. and something that I was really interested in and something that I used for my personal healing first. Mm -hmm. So when I started, do started doing EFT, I understood that I had what I needed at that moment and I had the whole puzzle solved. And I had for my, for, I mean, for my understanding, I had the whole holistic piece, mm -hmm. your mind, your physical body, and yeah. your emotional and spiritual body or self. So for me, that's the holistic, that's how I became a holistic health coach, actually. I worked through the mind, through the body, through the emotions. And now I use them, all three of them, to help my clients get better. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, that's why we are here in Coaching Creo International, because we can introduce you every one week, a different specialist, an expert in this beautiful, beautiful um, space for our body, for our mind, how we can get there to the spirituality. So, let's say, Gary, Desi. Uh, she's here with us. She say, hi, ladies. You're so pretty. Hi, lovely. We love you. <laughs> um, my next question is, um, do you have some moment where you, it was really difficult for you? Where you were struggling with um, your inner circle and at the same time with your mind? What is the right thing for you? Do I need to continue? Or am I supposed to do something different? I had this moment, this moment, every single time I was about to achieve something really bigger. Or when I, I knew I, I wanted to become a trainer and I was preparing myself to that for that. Nobody in my family <laughs> believed I should become a trainer. Nobody. <laughs> and wow. They were supportive, but kept asking, why do you need this? I mean, you are an engineer. Yeah. Why do you want to become yeah. a trainer? And mm -hmm. but deep down in me, I knew this is going to happen and 2013 is not 2021 especially where i live in bulgaria now things are really different well 2013 was not that far ago but still i was younger i was i was in different place in my life so this was the first time then um when I kept going and I found emotional freedom techniques or EFT, I knew instantly that I need to, I need to become a practitioner and I need to become a trainer. So <laughs> becoming an EFT trainer is a lengthy process. Let me tell you that. But I went to my certification course for a practitioner, like my absolutely, how to say, smaller first step I mean needed but still small step in the process of becoming a trainer and I remember I told my trainer I asked her I want to become a trainer how do I do that and she was really surprised and I'm not sure she was very happy to hear this exact question at that moment but that's how it went so um, there were a couple of years later when I knew this was my path, but I had different kinds of difficulties. 
either with it or with personal stuff or with family stuff. I was, we was this family, my husband and I, we was significant people, people close to us. And mm -hmm. there were really hard times, but I kept going. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this is it. I didn't know how the way will be, <clears throat> but I knew this is it. As I said mm -hmm. before, somebody kept throwing me the stone, the stepping stones, kept putting mm -hmm. them in front of me. And that's how I still go forward. Somebody's mm -hmm. taking care of me. Yeah. We know. <laughs> okay, guys, if you like this uh, interview with Gary Radovich, um, you can share with your friends. You can invite your friends here to our platform. Um, we have um, one surprise uh, in the end of our interview, so make sure you will be with us to the end. Uh, my next question, Gary, is uh, do you have your favorite practice? How you say uh, you have several? Can you hear me? Yes, absolutely. I hear you. Hear you well. Okay. Um, so, um, do you have your favorite practice? You mean my daily routine? Or um, yes, you specific? can share the daily routine or something special. Okay. Um, I, well, all that I shared with you since mm -hmm. we started today is everything that I, I mean, well, not everything, but all that I shared is all that I use on daily basis. Sometimes I, well, I try to be active every day. That's one thing. So I do it up. If not every day, then every second day. So that's what I do. If I mm. feel really tired, unmotivated, depressed mm -hmm. to some extent, unhappy, stressed, or if I catch myself eating more than I should, I do it up later on. But usually first I do some EFT. So talking about practices, daily practices is, um, I try to do, well, it's not trying. I do EFT mm -hmm. every single day. I may not train every day, but I do yeah. EFT every single day. So my, my practice is really, I like things to be short and I like to give that to my clients as well. I teach them how to do for uh, how to move forward with little steps because mm. i do believe that trans transformation should not be achieved through big steps but should be achieved through small steps every single day yeah. so that's part of my uh, my my own practice usually i start my day with some if well Usually I start my day with a coffee. It's an <laughs> non-negotiable. <laughs> then, yeah. then I do some EFT. I move a little. I read and I'm ready for my day. Helping clients or working on my business or doing interviews or giving lectures, whatever is needed that day. Yeah. Uh, do you want to to make um, some demonstration about EFT? Absolutely. One yes. circle, for example, yeah? Sure. Uh, what would you like to talk about? I mean, well, not talk about, but show you. W which is the most pressing issue for you at the moment? Let me put it that way. Mm. How we can... Mm, how we can have our position and not to be too much scared about the answer from another side? Uh, you mean self self doubt? doubt yeah. Or how to remain calm? 
and yeah. no, don't be scared of the uncertainty, this kind of thing? Yes. Okay. So let me, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. And please, everybody who's watching, do this with do this with us. And Stasi, let me ask you the question: How uncertain do you feel right now, from zero to ten, when ten is it can't be worse? Um, seven. Seven. Okay. So let's start from the side of the hand. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter which hand. Just pick one mm -hmm. and tap and repeat after me. Later, I'll explain if you have questions, but just let's do it. Even though I feel uncertain. Can I repeat? Yes. Uh, no, yeah. Yes. You can repeat either out loud or in your mind. So yeah, in my let mind. me repeat again. Even though I feel uncertain. Mm -hmm. I choose to love and accept my body, myself. And we'll repeat that two more times. Even though I feel uncertain and a bit scared, I choose to love and accept myself. And one, one more time, even though I feel uncertain and afraid of what's coming next, I choose to laugh and accept myself. And now let's tap on top of the head. And here we share what we what's the negative em, emotion actually so what we relate to this negative emotion for example i feel uncertain beginning of the eyebrow yes there is a lot at stake side of the eye I feel uncertain of what's coming next. Under the eye of what I should do. Under the nose of what will happen. On the chin and it scares me a lot. And now my favorite spot, just press with your hand here, exactly. I wish I knew what's about to come. Under the arm, so I could prepare better or I could run away. And now we're tapping at the fingers at the base of the nail yes exactly i feel uncertain next finger and it scares me to death middle finger i don't know what's coming next ring finger i'm not sure how i'll do or what will happen little finger and I'm really scared. Stasi, before I we either stop or continue, let me ask you a question. How do you feel right now? How is this uncertainty, uncertainty going up or down? Mm, I'm really quiet and um, like I just take the deep breath and just release everything. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you. Is this uncertainty going up or down? Um, down. Down. Zero to ten, how much? Mm, maybe 
six. Six. Okay, so let's do one more round. We are okay. starting on the top of the head again. I feel uncertain. I don't know what I'm going to do. It scares me. I'm not sure what's what needs to be done. I'm not sure I can do it. I'm not sure I have the knowledge or the skills or the guts to do it. I don't know. And it scares me to death. But I'd like to let it go. I'd like to let this uncertainty, uncertainty go away. I let it go. I choose to release the stress. I choose to release the fear. I choose to calm down and believe in myself. And now inhale exhale one more time inhale and exhale how do you feel now from zero to ten yes i'm in three three okay if we can do either one more round or we can stop here and whatever you choose, it's going to be fine. So yeah. you see how easy EFT is. And as a trainer, I know that everybody can learn it mm. and everybody can apply it for herself, his, himself and feel better. And yeah. again, I know that not everybody is going to do that and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Gary, what is the most um, often question to you when the people come in and want to work on that? Um, I mean, what's the most uh, common problem that people come to me with? Yeah. Well, I work with goal-driven, active people, usually women, mostly women, mm -hmm. who are overstressed, fatigued, lack enough sleep, and who, who usually have found themselves in a hard situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, most common problems are lack of sleep, insomnia, or problems with sleep, stress, stress, and emotional disbalancing, actually. Women yeah. who have lost their way, their motivation, and their, even their goal. Yeah. Uh... What your clients they teach you? Wow. They teach. I'm just thinking about all the people who have come to me during the years, and every time they teach me that usually there is something that can be done. I mean, something positive. And whenever a person thinks that's the end, I can't really do anything else. Usually there is something else that can be done. So my clients teach me that spirit is the most powerful thing 
that we own or possess and our success depends on how we treat that spirit how we care for it how we grow it mm. so that's that's what they teach me and more or less this is related re with resilience so our interaction goes both ways i teach them several things they teach me other things and both sides grow and keep moving forward yeah um the word for the this year 2021 is movement so okay. we just start with our movement with our first interview in Coaching Crew International. Um, so guys, uh, Gary has um, one mini solution for everyone. Um, Gary, do you want to explain a little bit about your next seven days? Uh, uh, what they um, will see there, what they have to receive from you, for, to follow you. Uh, can you hear me well? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, there are far uh, there are seven wonderful days ahead of us. And I'm going to share more about sleep, sleep problems with sleep and how to how we can resolve these problems through EFT, through TTAP yes. and through knowledge actually. So I'm going to share much more about sleep, what sleep, <coughs> what is sleep, why we should really care about our sleep and what we can do to improve that. How we can, I, I'm go, also going to share how we can move smarter and exercise smarter and not longer or harder. Because as I said before, I believe in small steps and I know from experience that if you choose to be uh, consistent and if you choose to um, exercise for 15 minutes, do some EFT for 10, 15 minutes, in 30 minutes, you can, but done daily, you can achieve much more that, than working two hours in a gym mm -hmm. once a week. So yeah. that's what I'm going to share how we can do EFT for common problems, how we can manage our sleep and how we can live better and smarter in general. Perfect. I lost you just for a, for a minute, just a second to... Um, let's bring her again. Can you hear me well? Yes, I hear and I see you. And at okay. technical problems, <coughs> we did our best, but... Absolutely. So this is the live streaming. <laughs> Absolutely. So guys, uh, make sure you will follow Gary. She will start on Friday, uh, her live streaming in here in Coaching Crew International. Uh, you can join her. This is absolutely free for everyone. You can make your questions. Uh, you can put your comment below. And um, it was my pleasure, Gary, to be my first guest in Coaching Q International. And let's say to ourselves, to everyone who will follow us, good luck and wish healthy life and good spirituality. <laughs> Absolutely, Stasi, and I do believe there are no, um, I mean, coincidences. And us here being white and red, as we believe in Bulgaria, we believe in Bulgaria that white and red are intertwined and are go go forward. I mean, go together all the time. So I see this as a sign and I wish yeah. you personally and coaching real great success. And I can't wait to answer all the questions, to meet all the people and help others achieve what they love to achieve. Thank you for Perfect. having me. It was great time. 
Perfect. Thank you so much, Gary, and see you on Friday, guys. Uh, uh, follow us, share this video, um, practice with every one of the specialists who is coming up in our platform, and see you again soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.